Jerry's in the hangar in the tower. He's currently selling the Season of the Hunt armor set. So if you guys missed out on this, like the bajillion times that it's come, then you can pick it up now. I think it's okay. This is definitely not the best seasonal armor we've gotten because some of the pieces are very boring, I guess you would say. So let's just get into it. For the Warlocks, we're going to be looking at... Actually, these arms are pretty good. Uh, I would probably bump up the resilience to another 10 so that way I can get a 20 and a 17 and then everything else is fine. Uh, chest piece, that mobility is way too high. Uh, helmet is... Mobility is way too high and again, mobility is way too high for that. This is the Titan and the armor set specifically. I will always advocate that if you do not have an armor set and you think you might be able to use it in some pieces, or even if you're like me and just paranoid that one day you'll you'll want to use it, pick it up. It's only, I say only 50 legendary shards. It is expensive considering it's like 250 per set, which is like 750 legendary shards. It is expensive. But if you couldn't afford it, I would recommend it because it's always nice having a backlog of armor. So that way you can at least uh, experiment and whatnot. For the arms, we're going to be looking at a high mobility. I would not recommend this one. Uh, I also wouldn't recommend this. Although discipline and recovery is nice because once you bump up that recovery, then it'll be a 24. That's nice. But you can get better chess pieces out in the wild. So I would just prop. I would say still get this if you don't have something better. But that's just me uh way too high mobility again and the greaves are actually pretty decent i would recommend uh bumping the recovery to a 19 so that way you can have a resilience 19 recovery 19 and then strength at 18 is nice so this one's okay but if you have better boots then i wouldn't i wouldn't waste money on this unless you don't have the set in your backlog then pick it up as for the hunters, I actually do use the arms regularly. The cloak is also pretty good. Hell, even the helmet could be used. The chest piece can also be used a lot in like certain situations, most mostly uh, like tactical gear and whatnot. I think the boots are the only piece that I probably would not pick up. But yeah, that's just armor wise, like look wise for the actual sets. Let's see. Uh, resilience is at 24 Jesus Christ that'd be a 34 if you bump up the resilience even more and then a 36 if you masterwork it damn dude that's that's a lot uh, I probably wouldn't recommend this although I, I'm kind of tempted to pick it up uh, that that's really up to you mobility at 22 Jesus Christ okay oh how about the helmet okay the helmet's not good and the boots are they're not terrible either i mean you can bump up the mobility to a 23 so 23 16 that's nice i guess but yeah the hunters have pretty good pieces uh i just i don't know if i'd pick these up at all i mean i have this already on my back stock anyway so i don't have to pick it up i'm just more so like 24 resilience is nice uh 22 mobility is nice uh yeah let me know if you guys are going to be picking this up as for the weapons, uh, we're looking at Whispering Slab with Killing Wind and an opening shot. Did I read that right? It did. Okay. With accuracy. This is interesting. Um, I won't pick it up just because I already have a Whispering Slab that I like. But I mean, ooh, fully auto with Rampage. That's nice. Um, you gonna load up? Okay. And range finder? Hmm. I'm, mm, I don't know if I'll pick this up or not. Uh, auto loading holster and wellspring. I'm not even gonna look at that. Uh, lead from gold and disruption break. This could be a good PVE uh, fusion rifle. Range, okay. Eh. Moving target and opening shot for a slug shoddy. That's that's pretty good. I, I mm, if it had written, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely not gonna pick it up. I'm not a slug shoddy user, so. Tireless Blade and Surrounded and Sip That, Zen Moment and Demolitionist. <sighs> Maybe if you're a controller player, but Zen Moment on PC is just kind of useless. As for the exotics, we have Hawk Moon with Quick Draw, which is pretty nice, I guess. Dead Man's Tail with Subsistence, which I would definitely recommend this one. Subsistence on this feels super nice because it's it almost feels like you never run out of ammo. <clears throat> 
And for Cerberus plus one, uh, it's a pretty good gun. I actually really like it, especially when you get the masterwork for it or the uh, catalyst, I mean. Once you get this, you will actually swap uh, shooting and it becomes like tighter and it basically a shotgun. It's super fucking cool. I love it. Uh, we have Stompies with 22 resilience, which is pretty weird. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, I don't know. Maybe because if you bump up the recovery to a 16 and put powerful friends on, you'd have a 24, 22, 16, which is nice, but ever since Stompy's got the nerf, I just think you have to have the God roll for a Stompy and this doesn't scream God roll to me. <clears throat> Dune Marchers with 26 resilience, Jesus Christ. If this had a little bit of a higher recovery, I would actually pick these up, but I already have a really good Dune Marchers anyways. And Astrocyte Verse with 18 mobility. I'm so sorry, Warlocks, that's terrible. Uh, let's actually see what I get this week and I'm probably gonna get Garbo because that's what I usually get. What the fuck did I just say, bro? Garb. I will still want to say that I got garbage because I did get a garbage, but I mean, at least this garbage rolled with high stuff, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. I actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I? Oh, hold on, hold on. Now I'm curious because if it actually does pop up, like, let me see. Uh, the only problem with this exotic is that it's just it's fucking useless. It's so useless. I hate it. So let me see. Let me switch to this one, I guess. I don't know. Powerful friends are not on because I already have that on. Okay, I have it on this one. So let's do this. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do it on. You know, whatever. Let me. Let me switch it off. Let me just see how much base I get. 90? 90? Really? Um, that's... Damn, dude, if this exotic was actually useful, I, I would I would actually rock it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I have a video coming out later today. It's going to be an exotic video. That I know you guys haven't seen an exotic video in a while, which is why I'm making it. And I think Saturday I'll also have two videos. I have a lot of content coming out. I've recorded a bunch yesterday. I'm going to record a bunch today. And yeah, let me know if you guys want to see any other content. We're going to be doing some PVE stuff as well. Hopefully I get around to it because I have a lot of fashion stuff that I've been digging my my like hands into. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, outlets. again, links are in the description below. Thank you guys for doing everything you could about the channel. It's been blowing up and I appreciate y'all and I will see you guys later.